Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, Master Shake here. So I just wanted to make a video of something that was really upsetting me. Um, so I have been playing Gary's Mod a lot lately, right? And I jumped over to this community called HunterRP.com and they needed a coder, right? So me being a coder like I am, I stepped forward and told them I'd help them out. So I went and bought a server server from uh let's see. I bought a server from dot vps dot co. Right there, you see that? Dot vps dot co. Um anyway, I ordered a VPS from them. I got the welcome email. We had it for about three days, got it all set up and all working, and then I get an email from him. I get an email that basically says you've been suspended due to an incoming DOS attack, right? Now, I thought about it, and I'm trying to run a 64 slot server off of a uh, 2 gigabytes of RAM, 1 gigabit port, so on and so forth. Well, we didn't notice a DOS. I mean, usually when you get DOS, you know, the server goes down and you know, everybody's like, oh, where's the server? But that never happened. Um, so we're not exactly sure why that didn't happen, but, you know, we kind of took it with a grain of salt and said, okay, fine, because they were going to refund us. Uh, anyway, so a couple days, uh, the same day, we go, well, we still want to have our server up. So we went over to Budget VM. As you can see, I got quite a few... Uh, emails from them. Alright, so we decided, okay, well let's go ahead and, you know, go to them. They got the gigabit port speed, they got decent, you know, decent stuff for that server. So we went to them. And just yesterday, this is what I got from them. Your VM uh, under us was su just subject to a UDP flood attack from multiple multitude of subnets. Uh, we're monitoring the situation will keep you updated. However, please note that our service isn't meant to be able to tank large scale floods, so this might become a regular so if this might become a regular issue, we'll have to ask you to purchase protection from Dosh mitigation specialists to continue our server. Uh, so we got this right, and we're like, well, what are we supposed to do? You know, we're not dosing it. Uh, we're subject to, uh, you know, a criminal act, and we're getting punished for it. Well, it turns out a lot of these servers now have, uh, uh, oh, let's see, here we go. Let me grab the, right here. So it turns out a lot of these servers have these little terms up in them, right? Um they have these terms. Now if you read here, right, all these things I completely agree with. Further to the above, uh, CloudShare reserves the right to suspend services without any notice to any VPS dedicated host or shared hosting customer that uses a high amount of server resources that cause negative effects on other customers, such as, but not limited to, CPU time, memory usage, and network. Now, I agree with this. Network resources, meaning if they're trying to DOS someone from their servers. Bad. CPU, of course, you know, if you're using more than you're allowed. Uh, contains uh, related to hacking, uh, racking, child pornography, or wars. Yes, I agree. But this one, I do not agree. Is targeted by denial of service attack. How is this my fault? I understand that you wouldn't want to continue s service with me as a hosting company, and that's perfectly fine. But this should not be here. And there should be a special rule for it. Because that's not my fault. I'm not abusing my services. All I was running is a Gmod server. We haven't had any problems with anyone else. You know what I mean? Now, if you go down here, this is where it becomes bullshit. Account suspended due to the content. Uh, or uh, or AUP, which is exactly what this stuff is up here. 
acceptable use policy. Um, uh, violations are not refunded under any circumstances. So I just paid these guys $20 for five days of hosting. They refused to give us our money back and they refused to let us use the server for other purposes. So, in short, cloud shards, do not use them. Alright, and also this company as well. Dot VPS Oops. V. So those two companies are a big no no. Uh oops, derp. Uh I guess they're good if you want to do something that's not going to get DOS, but okay, I, uh, I don't know why I put in com. They have really good prices here. Ugh. They have really good prices here, but the problem is they're going to suspend you for getting DOS. So basically, if they have that in their terms of service, it's not even worth getting them because it's the internet, it's 2013, and Everyone's dosing out there. It's become a worldwide pandemic. I mean, look at, I mean, look at all these other places. The only thing you can do is get a dedicated server, because you know, dedicated servers you have a set amount of line space. With uh, VPSs, they're all shared. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna wrap this up because it's already too long. But you know, boycott these places. Post in the comments what you guys think. Do you think an incoming DOS attack? is is my fault. I mean, it would make more sense if they like gave me a warning, no routed my server, and then gave me a warning and then gave me an opportunity to retrieve my files from the server. Or gave me a warning that it was being UDP flooded. Or at least gave me some documentation so I could see it. I mean I I've asked and requested from from the hosting company to uh from dot VPS dot co and also from the other company that I used, which, uh, oh hell, I can't remember what it's called. Um, uh, Budget VM, I believe. I asked both of them if I could have uh, information ba uh, uh, about who was dosing us and stuff, and uh, they wouldn't give me any information. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know what to do. Or it wasn't Budget VM. Sorry, it was. Uh, Cloud shares. Oops, this one right here. Anyway, I, I'm basically I'm just making this video because um, I really suggest you guys read the terms to these websites because, or to these uh, hosters, because a lot of the times if they're too good to be true, they probably are. I mean, come on, three dollars a month for a website. Well, actually, that's pretty normal, but you know, still you know, virtual servers for, I mean, not huge, great servers, but, you know, still pretty freaking cheap. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I really, re make this video popular, like it. I mean, people should really know about this and, and know the risks when they buy a VPS, and I think to hide it in terms of service down at the bottom in little itty-bitty print isn't right. I think they should put that on the front page maybe <laughs> can withhold the rights to, you know, suspend you for incoming DOS attacks because, you know what, everybody DOS is online, especially when it comes to game servers. Uh, I mean, look at Anonymous. They DOS people like crazy. I mean, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, they should put that on their front page. That's, you know, that's important to know. Um, not in their terms of service because that's beyond your control. I mean, how are you supposed to... Oh, yeah, I'm going to get this VPS and I'm not going to get DOS, for sure. You know, you can't do that. You have no ability to stop a DOS attack, nor can you deflect one. You can't do anything about it. And it's ridiculous, because people are probably, like... <laughs> they're probably running around with these cloud shark. They probably hire people to go DOS their servers so they can suspend you and take your money. Like this stupid cloud sharks. So they probably have you buy the server for cheap, and then they just get somebody to DOS it and claim somebody DOS it and it's your fault. So blah 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 blah. Anyway, um 
please post about these companies, uh, .vps.co uh, and cloudsharks.shards.com. Here's the URL. Uh, right there, Cloud Shards and .vps.co. Now, um, there's probably more companies out there, but if you guys find more companies, let me know, and I'll post them in the uh, comment section uh, with terms of servers that have the incoming DOS attack thing, because uh, people should know about this, and I'm going to make this video very popular, hopefully, <laughs> so people uh, don't screw up, get messed up like I did, and get your money stolen. Anyway, thanks. Bye.